All right, music fans, it is Dave, the Real Music Observer, coming at you with real music in real time for real people, just like you, just like me, and uh, for my uh, pal Meatloaf, uh, who I guess is going through some really tough times. I, I kind of beat up on him a few weeks back when I posted a video about how he more or less melted down on Facebook, and I read his statement because he just seemed it was just way over the top. Like he was going to shut his Facebook page down and uh, he was angry at some of his fans for uh, making fun of him and so forth. Look, I don't know if you're a fan of Meatloaf or not. Uh, it probably doesn't matter if you're a fan. This is about proper human behavior. Uh, the guy has lost 85 pounds. Uh, his back apparently is, he's in excruciating pain. He needs another surgery and he can basically go from, you know, like uh, a chair uh, to his bed and back and forth. That's about all of the mobility he has. Uh, he's documenting this on Facebook, which eh, I have mixed feelings about because it's, you know, I think a Warren Zevon, and believe me, this isn't as bad as Warren, but uh, just watching him sort of deteriorate, uh, you know, in public and just doing things and seeing him and seeing what he looked like and so forth. I mean, Meatloaf looks rough. He looks rough. Uh, even though he lost all the weight, and you would think, hey, that's a good thing. Uh, this isn't the kind of weight, I think, that comes off for, you know, the right reasons. Uh, he's in so much pain, I think, that probably has affected his appetite. And uh, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't play one here on TV. Uh, all I know is Meatloaf is an iconic figure, uh, an American institution, a touring machine when he goes out there and performs. Uh, he gives 150%, like I said in the other video. And even if you're not a fan, you have to admit that Bat Out of Hell, at least the, you know, the first one, even the second one, but the first one is definitely one of those desert island discs, and it's meant to be heard from start to finish. Jim Steinman, brilliant stuff uh and he's you know he's had some moments on other albums as well uh, when he can sing which i don't know where he's at now with his voice but uh, powerful emotive vocals and a great storyteller a great interpreter of uh, lyrics and themes and uh, really an artist in the true sense of the word uh, brought that theatrical aspect in you know, he and people like Alice Cooper, uh, and David Bowie, and there are a lot of other folks that are uh, in that sort of uh, art rock, uh, theatrical rock theme. You know, Adam Ant does that stuff. And all I can tell you is that it's, it's really sad. Uh, you know, us Gen Xers and baby boomers and whoever, we're, whatever age group we're in, I, I think we thought we were just going to avoid this aging thing. But then, you know, you see your, your rock star heroes everywhere, uh, you know, <laughs> basically on a daily basis. I think Ultimate Classic Rock last week did this article about, you know, coping with your favorite rock star either retiring or, you know, uh, leaving planet Earth. And it's, it's just kind of, it's just weird, you know, because rock and roll is this youth-oriented sport. You know what I mean? It's everybody in the sport, even when they're older, like Rick Springfield, they, they still don't look old. Sammy Hagar, they still don't look old, and that gives us hope, and we can just march on and not worry about time. But seeing Meat post this video is just, I mean, he's looking rough, and he's, you know, 19-second video, and he's, I don't know, it, it's just sad. And uh, I hope uh, and wish the best for him and pray for him and his his uh, wife, who apparently uh, is there with him uh, filming these videos. And I hope his back surgery goes well. But man, oh man, it's, uh, it's rough, you know. Uh, Pete Townsend said that he hoped he died before he got old. And fortunately for Pete, that didn't work out. And uh, for a lot of these guys, aging has been brutal. It's been rough. So Meatloaf, get well, buddy. Sorry about the last video. This one, just telling it like it is. I will be back in real time with more real music for real people just like you and just like me and just like Meatloaf. Talk to you later, everybody.